Today was Apple's mobile device update, where it unveiled the latest iPhone, Apple Watch, and iPad models. The most prominent technology featured across all devices was the company's machine learning. Apple's new machine learning features depend on their new chipsets, the A13 and A15 bionic chips. It makes sense that the future of Apple is machine learning since it depends on a chip that only Apple has the capability to produce so far. This has added an advantage of making their suite of hardware products more defendable and interchangeable. In this video, we are going to cover all the machine learning features that Apple introduced today to their iPhone and iPad products. First up, Apple's new iPad comes with the company's A13 Bionic chip, which has a 20% faster CPU and GPU with a neural engine that is three times faster than the best-selling Chromebook and six times faster than the best-selling Android tablet. Apple designed this neural engine to power its next-gen machine learning capabilities, like it uses in the live text feature that uses on-device intelligence to read and process text in a photo. Users can then take action on the text by tapping it. This could be used to pull the text like an email address from a handwritten note and copy it to send it as an email or as a text message. Other applications could include snapping a photo of a storefront and tapping the photo to call a number directly from a sign in the window. Another machine learning application for the iPad is the center stage feature for video recording. Center stage automatically detects and dynamically adjusts the iPad's camera to pan and follow a person talking and keep them continuously in frame. This feature works in FaceTime and Zoom and attempts to make video calls more natural, especially for remote learning applications or recording videos to be posted on a third-party app like TikTok. Next, the iPhone 13 features its own new chip, the A15 Bionic. Built with a 5 nanometer processor, this CPU is 50% faster with a 4-core GPU and a 6-core CPU with two high-performance cores and four high-efficiency cores. However, the iPhone 13's new 16-core neural engine is the main event, capable of 15.8 trillion operations per second to enable faster machine learning computations. This machine learning could be applied to live text, to buy tickets, or get directions from the iPhone camera while on the go. Other machine learning features include advanced text-to-speech in Surrey and processing of directions in maps on device. A few developer use cases include apps like Swing Vision, which runs augmented reality for real-time shot tracking, video analysis, and remote coaching. Peak Visor, which identifies mountains and allows users to explore detail-rich maps, and Seek, which processes millions of photos to instantly identify plants and animals around you. Apple also uses this neural engine to power its new video cinematic mode, which adds a rack focus style shooting capability to automatically adjust focus, whether it's to hold focus on a subject or create focus transitions in real time by anticipating when a subject enters frame or looks away from the camera. The user can also tap to shift the focus at any time, then tap again to lock and track focus, which the phone can learn from these moves to make its own adjustments. The iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max are also powered by the A15 Bionics machine learning algorithms. The 13 Pro's cinematic mode uses machine learning and disparity to create a depth map that embeds depth of field into the video that can be used to change the depth of a shot in the edit. This feature makes the 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max the only devices able to edit depth of field effects in video after the recording is over. Another unique feature of the 13 Pro is the photo's intelligent display that uses a ProMotion variable refresh rate on the iPhone, varying between 10 to 120 frames per second depending on the speed of a user's finger. This refresh rate makes gestures, animations, and gameplay feel faster and more responsive. Last, photographic styles lets photographers bring their individual custom preferences to Apple's multi-frame imaging processing to apply local edits in real time as the photo is rendered. That means photographers can use the same customized preset styles across all different photo types and subjects, and the iPhone will use computational photography to intelligently apply their preferred adjustments to the photos in real time. The thing about new machine learning features is that they can be rolled out with new software updates. We expect that Apple will continue to release new features that depend on neural networks and machine learning in the coming months. Features like automatic photo object detection, machine learning APIs for app developers, video analyzing tools to identify emotions, and so much more. 
If Apple chips have multiple CPUs optimized and devoted to machine learning, the future of predictive analytics, medical diagnosis, emotion recognition, preventative insights, and much more is just around the corner. We're excited to see what machine learning features they release in the fall when they typically release new MacBook features. Let us know your thoughts. What did you think about Apple's event today? Do you agree that machine learning was the story of today's event?